Hi. Hello, I'm Joey Xiaoyuan Liu. I'm a research scientist of the Quantum Laboratory at Fujitsu Research of America. So this is our half-size mock-up of the quantum computer, the 64 qubit chip. And uh, in the bottom, if you can see that the qubit chip is mounted right there, and if you look at the reflection, you can see in the middle, that's the qubit chip. And everything above here is actually the cryogenic amplifier and the filter to filter out the noise and also like the hem amplifier to amplify the signals and things like that. Um, so we are having a lot of research going on about uh, uh, like all layers of quantum computing. Uh, like in, for example, we are uh, exploring the uh, catalyst discovery as one of the potential quantum application. Um, and we're also exploring different layers of quantum computing, uh, trying to from the hardware side and the software side, uh, trying to push the gap between like the uh, algorithm to device. And so uh, looking forward that in the near future that we can uh, build a better, bigger quantum computer that can actually achieve some sort of quantum advantage uh, in the near future. Uh, thank you. How, how far in the future is this? Um, so our plan is that next year we are trying to push out the 1,000 qubit chip, and then 2030 we will try to push out uh, 10,000 qubits, uh, including uh, maybe try to realize quantum error correction to realize around like 250 logical qubits. Uh, and at that point, there might be some practical on that. Uh, uh, just to try to understand. Uh, oh, there. Uh, yeah. I try to try to understand uh, yep. why does it have to look like this a quantum computer right what so, is the thinking yeah the thinking is that of course we are doing the superconducting qubit chip so it needs to be operated in a very low temperature so everything here is actually wrapped inside a uh, dilution fridge and so uh, and you need to have all these uh, cooling systems and also the control systems in place inside the fridge and uh, because it's under very low temperature, you need to have all of these structures in place so that it can still like operate uh, in a uh, like uh, in a uh, good. Uh, nice. Uh, so it has to be cooled down a lot. Yeah. Like in the bottom, it's actually reaching like around 20 mil Kelvin. That's cooler than space. Wow. Uh, and there's no chance it's gonna break when it gets so cold. Well, uh, I guess the, the challenge is that we, d we need to like make sure it's not breaking under this low temperature, right? So that's the challenging part. And 64? Yes. Uh, what does that mean? So 64 qubits means like on the chip we have this like grid structure that's like a 8x8 eight eight, um, uh, nearest neighbor connection. And uh, we actually uh, released a 256 qubit um, chip this April as well. Uh, the, the topology is similar to this one. It's like four different 64 and uh, like scale it up. And the hope is that we are going to use similar topology to further scale it up to 1,000 qubit chips. HDMI technology powers the global ecosystem of connected devices, enabling advanced displays that deliver immersive visuals and sound across entertainment, professional, and everyday applications. As the preferred technology for digital AV connectivity, HDMI technology and the features and benefits it enables links billions of products worldwide from HDTVs, set-top boxes, and laptop to gaming consoles, projectors, and audio-video receivers. It provides the reliable, high-bandwidth connectivity needed for today's ultra-high-definition video, lifelike color accuracy, and immersive sound formats. HDMI technology drives innovation across industries, including digital signage, medical imaging, education, and esports. With unmatched performance, interoperability, and scalability, HDMI technology continues to define how content is created, shared, and enjoyed around the world.